Well, hello, everybody, and happy Tuesday. It is Tuesday, March 7th, 2023 at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. And welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Lisa Freeman from StampingWithLisa.com. And I am coming to you live on YouTube. So if you are here at 7 p.m., you are on the live. If not, then you are watching the replay. I was not sure I was going to make it tonight because my internet was having issues and, uh, I just got backlogged on on the internet about five minutes before I started this video. So <laughs> it's been one of those days, I'm telling you. <sighs> so I am, I just finished this card like 30 minutes ago too, because I was kind of late. I had a class this morning and then I thought, oh, I have all afternoon to do this stuff. And then I got busy doing something else. And then it was like three or four o'clock and I'm like, ah, I got to start doing my project for tonight. And I kind of had in my mind what I'm going to do, what I was going to do. And then I totally changed my mind and did something else. So, um, this is what I came up with. And I think the picture does not do it justice because it's really a lot prettier in person, but, um, it's a fun technique. And I've done this a couple times before in different videos. And I thought it would be a fun one to go back and try again with a different stamp set. So, um, we're doing emboss resist and then we're going to be coloring the sunflower with water and it, it ends up doing like a bleaching technique with the um, with the ink taking the ink off of it so it's pretty fun um, after I finished it I kind of wish I had done it in a different color but that's okay <laughs> we're gonna do it with the purple so <laughs> after I did I was like oh I should have done like yellow and oranges and stuff and like maybe pumpkin pie and you know, Cajun craze and something like that. But I don't know why. I just, I I, I saw a picture of a, a sunflower with pink and stuff. And I was like, oh, that's really pretty in the pink. So I just said, oh, I'll try it with fresh freesia. But um, if you try it, try it with the oranges and the yellow and maybe pumpkin pie and uh, Cajun craze, maybe daffodil delight or crushed curry. I think that would be really, really pretty with this technique. So um, next time I will do that. So let me say hello to everybody. We have a bunch of people on here already. Hey, Lynn. Hey, Katie. Hey, Sue. Hey, Ingrid. Um, let's see. Hey, Annie. Hey, Cynthia. Hey, Spice Girl. Hey, Julie. Hey, Robin. Hey, Reva. Hey, Jody. Hey, Sherry. Let's see. Who am I missing? Hey, Starla. Hey, Sharon. Hey, Kathy. Hey, Patricia. Hey, Beth. All right, I'm going to stop there because we've got a bunch more people coming on. All right, so we're using the Celebrate Sunflower set, which is an oldie but a goodie. It's still around. So it's one of my um, favorite stamp sets. I love it, love it, love it. And it's really pretty in any color. So, you know, you can do it in blues or yellows, whatever you want. But um, tonight we're going to be doing Fresh Freesia and Highland Nether. Um, and I, I found these, rhy not rhinestone, sequins that I thought went really pretty with it. So hopefully you can see that sparkle on there with those, but it's really fun. So um, let's see, first let me go through the card kit. So if you place an order by the 15th, you'll get this card kit. And I did the personalized cards with the new alphabet set that's available in the online store. If you don't wanna get the alphabet set, you can always do any words you want. And this was with the baby wipe technique. So it was really fun. If you don't have um, the alphabet set, any words will work, but the alphabet set is really cool to do the baby wipe technique in. And you could just put love or, you know, any any word you want or make it personalized as a gift for somebody. But I love the baby wipe colors in that. And that's with a $50 or more order, you'll get four cards. And then um, if it's $100 or more, you get the gems too. And make sure you use that host code for me. Um, I think that's all I got for today for news. So let's get started. I do have a funny story for you guys about my daughter. <laughs> I'm telling you, <laughs> it's a funny one. Um, okay. So what you need is a piece of five and a half by eight and a half fresh freesia, a piece of five and a quarter by four shimmer white, and then a little teeny piece of shimmer white that is one by three for the words that are going on the inside. So the inside, I didn't put white paper. I just put white words and then I stamped those 
sunflowers because I thought the paper was light enough you could write inside of it. But if you want to put white on the inside, you could surely do that and it would be just fine. But um, actually the reason I did that is because I forgot. <laughs> so I just did it real fast. <laughs> I was like, oh, I forgot to do the inside. <laughs> so um, that was my day. <laughs> All right, get a screenshot of that before I take it off. So how is everybody else doing? We've got everybody saying hello. Um, let's see, snowy North Dakota. I saw a picture on Facebook. I don't know where it was, but somebody walked out their front door and the snow was like way, way, way higher than the person was. So like, I don't even know, it was maybe like nine or 10 feet of snow. And so they had a path which really wasn't, it probably had snowed a couple feet over the path, but they had this like tunnel kind of to get from the front door to wherever they were going. I don't know. I don't see how you could have driven because your car would have totally been under snow. But um, I thought, wow, <laughs> I would never want to live somewhere where there's that much snow. Because <laughs> what do you do? You're just stuck. You can't drive. I mean, how do you get your car out from that? And you can't drive if the, unless the roads are cleared. I don't know. But um, it was another beautiful day here. It was about maybe 55 and breezy. Wasn't quite as warm as we've had it, but it was pretty nice. Um, oh, Spice Girl, you're going to do it with me. Okay. Well, all you need, you need a Versamark pad. If you want to do it right now, you need a Versamark pad. You need white embossing powder. Um, you need fresh freesia and Highland Heather ink pads, a blending brush, and let me see. Oh, water and a water painter. And I think that's it. And then you can do it with me. So um, if you don't want to do it now, you can always do it on the replay. Yes, I have a joke. It's not as funny as last time because that was probably the funniest joke ever. I told that at work and everybody's dying. It was so funny. I still can't even read it. I read it like five times at work yesterday to different people. And every single time I, I kept cracking up and I couldn't get through the joke without laughing. So, um, yes, I have a pretty fun. It's real. It's a funny joke tonight, but not as funny as the last one because that was like a really, really good one. And if you missed that one, go back and watch the last video. Um, Connie, you have a tractor that plows out your farm yard and your driveway. Wow. I know. What do you do if you have a dog and like your dog has to go outside and there's like a wall of snow? <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> Just let them go on the floor. I guess you can get one of those pads or something that some people have. But if you got a big dog, you don't want to do that. So... Um, oh, your husband sometimes watches here with you. I, I have heard from you guys. A lot of you guys show the jokes to your husbands. I think that's really funny. <laughs> I'm glad they enjoy it too. All right. So what we're going to do is take our shimmer white. And I think the shimmer wor shimmer white works well with um, water. So you could, you could use watercolor paper if you want to. But the shimmer white, it's, um, I don't know, it just holds up a little bit better than regular white. Because white cardstock tends to um, not do well with water. So what we're going to do is start with Versamark and the big sunflower. So we're going to ink this up. And, whoops. And we're going to stamp it like three times. So I'm going to do one like right here. Give it a good press because you really want that Versamark to get on there and it should be sticky. I know you probably can't see it. And then I'm gonna do one like over here. And then I'll fill in this little spot over here with a part of one. And then we're gonna put embossing powder on it. Okay, so you wanna move pretty quickly. And I've got my embossing powder in a little um, container here, so it's easier and doesn't spill everywhere. So this is just white embossing powder. And I kind of like to go like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> OK, 
Okay, you guys didn't see that. <laughs> all right, that was good. Now I have embossing powder all over my arm. <laughs> all right, I was going to say I like to go like this so I don't spill it. <laughs> well, I can't say that anymore. All right, so I don't know if you guys can see that. I have embossing powder all over myself. Now we're going to have to clean that up. I'm telling you, this is just a day. <laughs> all right, let me get, it's all over the place. Hold on, let me clean this off too. It's everywhere. <laughs> okay, let's try that one more time. Okay. <laughs> uh, oopsie, yep, oopsie is right. <laughs> All right, so I've got my little cardboard covered in foil, and I like to use that to help me uh, emboss because it'll heat from the bottom too. The foil will heat it up from the bottom. So let me turn it on and heat it up for a minute. That feels good. All right, so then this is gonna melt that powder. Embossing is one of my favorite things to do, I love it. It's always a wow when it starts melting and you can see that. So you just wanna make sure all the powder turns shiny and there's nothing powdery left. So it just takes a minute. You could also use the um, white craft pad if you don't have Versamark. And the Versamark um, is good because you can really, you can also, I don't know if you guys knew this, but take our ink pads and um, stamp something in Versamark and then dip it into the colored ink pad of your choice and then re-stamp it. Like if you have a um, Stampamajig, not a Stampamajig, Stamparatus. And it'll emboss whatever color you want. Maybe I'll try that one day and show you. Okay, make sure everything is good and melted. And there we go. So now, let me just make sure. I don't see any powdery stuff. Okay, so there we go. So now, can you guys see that? It's nice and shiny. And then what we're gonna do is sponge. So we're gonna add color First, starting with the Fresh Freesia. And I'm just using the same brush because it's both in the purple leaf family. So I'm gonna do part of it in Fresh Freesia and part in Highland Heather. And I've got a little paper towel because I don't wanna get my fingerprints on here. So I'm just gonna start rubbing. And I just re-inked this so it should have lots of ink. So I'm gonna do about half with Fresh Freesia and half with Highland Tether. And just keep on going. But it's nice to keep a paper towel or something because you do not want to get your fingerprints on here where you're rubbing it. Oh, so let me tell you my story. So last night I was uh, laying in bed and my daughter texts me and she, she sends me a picture of her living room. And she said, this is what the dogs did when I was at work today. And they had gotten the, well, she got two dogs. So um, she had one dog, which was kind of like a black lab mix, a kind of a small black lab mix. And that was Gracie, that's a girl. And that was the best dog. And they've had her for a couple years now. And they also had a cat. And then they got another cat. So they had two cats and a dog. And they decided that Gracie needed a playmate. So they got a puppy um, right before Christmas. Well, let me see. I think it was actually, yeah, it was after their wedding. So it had to be like maybe Thanksgiving. And so that's Cooper. That's a, a golden retriever. 
And Cooper is a puppy, but he is gigantic now. So he's twice as big as Gracie is and does not look like a puppy at all. But anyway, um, you know, Gracie was such a good dog, but Cooper is not a good dog. <laughs> he's kind of a troublemaker. So she has a video camera that she watches the dogs from work. So there's the fresh freesia. So that's about half of it. Now I'm gonna move to the, well, let me put just a little bit more because I want it pretty dark. Oops. So she has a video camera that she can watch them from work and see what they're doing. And usually they just sleep all day, you know, and they'll get up and walk around and just, but not really do much. Well, yesterday she forgot to turn the video camera on. So she got home from work and she was just expecting, you know, the same old thing. I guess somehow they just know she's watching so they don't do anything. But yesterday they knew she wasn't watching. So she got home from work and they had taken Cooper's bed and chewed it into a million pieces. And so little pieces of foam were all over her whole um, house. And then after they finished with that, they went onto the couch and destroyed the couch. So her couch is totally chewed up. The bed for Cooper is totally chewed up. And I said, I think I would have killed those dogs when I got home. <laughs> and she's like, I don't know why they did it. She goes, I guess they were just bored. And I said, well, that'd be the last time they did it because I'd go get a crate and put them in a crate when I went to work. That happened when I first, we first got a dog when I was married. This is but when Lindsay was not even born yet. So she just turned 30, so this is 30, more than 30 years ago. We got a dog, and it was a Sharpay. And the first day we had it, we left for work and left, we shut all the bedroom doors, and we had a brand new house. And we thought, okay, well, he'll be fine. No, it was a girl, she'll be fine. And we came home, and it was kind of the same situation. That dog had dug a hole in front of every bedroom door through the carpet down to the concrete because we lived on a slab, whoops, lived on a slab house back then. The dog had taken the remote control, chewed it into a thousand pieces. Um, everything was torn up. We just walked around the house just shaking our heads like, oh my God. So then we had to put the dog in the kitchen in a, um, you know, with the little gate and until she got trained because I was like, we're not leaving the dog like this again. <laughs> but anyway, I just, she sent me pictures and I just sat there shaking my head. Like I cannot believe the dogs did that. I mean, why would they chew up their own bed? That's just, I mean, I'm sure probably Cooper, the, the golden retriever is the one that did it. And Gracie probably just sat there watching saying, you're going to get in trouble. You're going to get in trouble. But I just, mm. so I don't know what is going on with that. Yes, my daughter's dog has destroyed five dog beds. Why would they destroy their bed? I don't understand that. It just seems like, you know, that's the one thing they wouldn't destroy would be the bed. But I guess they figured, well, if we destroy the bed, then we get to sleep on the real bed, which they do anyway. I don't know why I keep bending them. Okay, so we've got a mix of the purples in here now. So we've got half Fresh Freesia and half um, Highland Heather. All right, then you're going to take your paper towel and you're just going to wipe over just to get any ink off of the embossed part. So there we go. And then what we're going to do is color it inside. So you could leave it like this because that's beautiful by itself. I actually almost like that better. What do you guys think? You like it better bleached or you like it better not bleached? Because that's really pretty. I kind of like both both of them, but they're they're both pretty in their own ways. Which one do you like better? The left or the right? Because we could just stop here. <laughs> she needs Alexa to say behave. <laughs> uh yes. Our dog destroys a rug that's in his kennel. So we take it out when we leave the house. Not pleased. Okay, everybody likes this one better. That's so funny. Well, my technique is gone. <laughs> okay, so we're done for tonight. <laughs> 
I know, that is really pretty like that. Well, the, this is just emboss resist. So that's what you get when you do the emboss resist. So what I did with this one, I'll just show you just in case you want to do it. I just took um, the water painter and I dipped it in a bowl of water like this. And then I just went and I colored um, inside all of these petals like that. Then you just take the paper towel and you dab it off and it just takes the color off of wherever you did that, but leaves all the color on the outside. So then what I did was I took the painter, the aqua painter. I didn't put water, I didn't really put water. I have water, but I don't use it. I like to dip it better. So take that and then you just hit it and you get little splatters. Oops, a big splatter. And see how it'll take the color off there and it looks kind of like sparkles. See when it dries, it takes, it's just like bleach. So isn't that cool? I love it. Love it. Let's dab that a little bit. So that just gives you a little bit of sparkle in there. Kind of like glitter. It kind of looks like glitter because the paper is shimmery. So, well, we're gonna have a short video tonight, folks. <laughs> Yeah, boredom. Probably the dogs are bored. Never seen the bleach technique. Okay, so what we could do, see if I got a scrap paper. Here's one I was doing earlier. So this is my practice one. So all you do is you just take your Wacko painter and you just go through and you just color all these um, petals like this. And then it's going to take that color off of there. And then you just keep dabbing it and it'll just take the color off. So it'll make it really light pink on there. This is where I spilled some water all over this one. So you can see if you just do that, it'll just take the color away. So it's just like bleach, except it's just water. So it's a really fun technique. And you could do it. I should have brought some of the cards that I had done before. But like say this inside part right there, see how it's still purple? We could take that and just put water on it and it'll take the color out. Make it all light. But it is really pretty. I love the splatters on there, isn't that cool? All right, so then what I did, see on this one, I didn't color the centers, I left those dark. So you could see it. All right, so then on the inside, I've got the words. Well, our, my video is going to be short tonight, guys. <laughs> I had a feeling you were going to like that better, too, because I was like, man, I really like it without bleaching. All right, we're going to stamp the words on here, just right in the middle. Thank you for your kindness. And then I'm going to stamp the, um, oh, i got to sponge that, too. I'm going to stamp some of the small sunflower on the bottom here. So for this one, I really don't want the leaves in there. So I'm just going to ink up and stamp it on the edge so I don't get those leaves. And then do another one. So there's that. And then I'm just going to color this words just a little bit with sponging. And then if you want to, you can just dip it in the ink pad like I like to do. So the technique I was gonna do, I think I'll save till next week. I just didn't have time this afternoon to do it. I kind of wanted to do something that was pretty quick and easy. So I was gonna do this um, like vintage watercoloring but then I was like, if it doesn't come out good, then I don't have time to do anything else. So <laughs> that's why I didn't do it. <laughs> but I'll try it for another another time. All right, we're going to glue the words inside. And then... That looks really pretty with the um, edging on there, too. I love that because I didn't do it on this one. Look at the difference. 
That looks way better. All right, and then we're gonna do some ribbon. So on this one, what I did was I took the white sparkly glittery ribbon that has like all the little pink glitter in it. And I wrapped it around. Let me just get a piece, cut it. Oops, that's the top. So I want to kind of tie it a little bit to the left. So here's a little trick for you. So if you're tying something like this, and I wanted to put the, um, the silver metallic ribbon in there, I took a glue dot. Where's my glue dots? Take a glue dot and just put it under your knot right here. So that'll hold it in place for you for a minute. And then, oops, I don't think I have it in the right spot. Well, nope, I got it too high. Let me put another one. I need an extra hand. <laughs> okay, let's put one right here. There we go. All right, then I'm gonna cut a little piece of this one like maybe, I don't know, three or four inches, and then cut it up the middle. I love this just to give it sparkly stuff because I'm all about the sparkle and the shimmer. And then we're just gonna lay this right there, across there, and then grab this and tie a knot. And then you got all those in there together and then we can trim it so my daughter said she was going to take the dogs to doggy daycare today because she didn't trust them in the house i said i just think you need to get a crate but i know they would hate that I feel bad for Gracie though, because she's always been a good dog and they've left her home all the time by herself and she's never done anything. But Cooper's a bad influence. I said, you need to take him to training. <laughs> and don't let him get all over the furniture. <laughs> all right, so doesn't that look pretty with all those um, ribbons there together? All right, then we're gonna glue that onto the front and make sure you put a lot of glue. Oh, let me read some comments because I haven't been slacking on the comments, hold on. All right, almost everybody liked the not bleached one, so that's funny. I'm gonna have to change the title of the <laughs> video. <laughs> Just change it to emboss resist. <laughs> Oh, and the chocolate lab chewed every bed she ever had. Some of them she, she chewed the very next day after you bought them. I would stop by in a bed. I'd say you could just sleep on the floor. That is so funny. Don't they realize it's their bed? Boredom. Love the splatter technique. So can't we just talk? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we can just talk. You guys have any questions? I can answer questions today if we want to. Let's see. That's what people do. People who watercolor do when they want to lift off color, like, oh, when they make a mistake. Huh. I know. I want to learn how to watercolor, like, better. But only water in a cup, no blood bleach. Oh, hey, Renee. Love your bubbly personality, and you make such beautiful cards. Thank you. Oh, Vicki, you just bought three rolls of which ribbon? The sparkle, the um, organdy one, the glitter organdy, or the, probably that one, because that's one I use a lot. All right, make sure you put a lot of glue, because this one is a little bit curvy. So we don't want it to bend up on here. Okay. 
Well, I guess I could because I still did the splatter with the um, water, so that bleached it out. We could still leave that. That's just funny that you guys like this one better. I could have saved all that time coloring. <laughs> purple is your favorite color. Wedding colors was every per color of purple there is. My daughter's wedding was purple too. I would like to see this card with um, the yellows and oranges though and see what it looks like. Maybe I'll try that if I have time. Um, oh, I've, uh, I've got to tell you guys, I won't be here for date night on Saturday because I am going to go out of town this weekend. And, um, so I will be here Thursday night, but I'll be gone Saturday night. Um, is the ink water reactive? Um, well, it's just water, but because there's color on here, the water just takes the color off. So that's why it does that. So anytime you have, anytime you add color to a piece of paper and you wanna take that color away, just put some water on it and it'll, it just kind of like dilutes the color out. Cindy, you started Christmas cards in January. Ugh, I can't even think about Christmas right now. Yeah, I think I think she definitely needs to get a crate. I only got my materials far enough behind. <laughs> mm. So, Spice Girl, you didn't get to do the card yet. <laughs> Nancy, you need to send me your list of what you want for your free hundred dollars, so I can order it for you. Lisa Freeman, are you going cheating? No, it's not a date. I'm going to my friend's house. We're having a stamping uh, retreat at her house. And um, it's one of my downlines. So I'm going to go there for the weekend. And we're going to have a stamping retreat on Saturday. And she's got like 30 people coming. So I'll be technically working. But then I guess we'll have a girls' night on Saturday night. So... I guess I will be cheating on you guys. Oh, then we've got to put our sequins on here. So I'm gonna get my take your pick tool and I'm gonna put some in the center of the, oops. I stuck that upside down. Okay. Well, if you guys came in late, you missed the beginning of the video when I spilled embossing powder all over myself. You'll have to go back and watch that. There's so much entertainment in these videos. I always tell people you get bloopers in every video because I always do something wrong. So you always get a laugh and I don't even try to give you a laugh. And then if you want to, you could spray some shimmer spray on here. And that'll even take, that probably will take some more. Let's see what it does. I think it's gonna make some more sparkles and more little yeah, it's going to take some more ink off of there. Love it. All right, so there you go. So we've got without bleaching it and with bleaching it. I like both, but I think I do like it better that way. I should have brought the other cards I did because those are really cool. I did one with um, that daisy set we had last year. And I did one with the poinsettia, not poinsettia, the, um, oh my gosh, peony. The prize peony set. Peony. I always say that wrong. Peony. <laughs> no shaming where cards are concerned. Gotta have shimmer spray. Yes, we do. Have fun on my getaway. I will. Bought my dog a bed. She chewed foam out of the center. I threw the bed away. She slept on the bare floor one night. And then I left a blanket. All I can say is he's very appreciative to have the blanket. Um, I made this. This is shimmer spray that I made using the shimmer paint that we used to have. Stampin' Up! used to sell this. I have the link below the video if you want to order it because we don't sell it anymore and you just mix it with alcohol, 70% alcohol. Or you can buy this one on Amazon. It's kind of similar. You might need to add a little bit of alcohol to this one because it's more um, concentrated. But um, the link to both of those are in the description box below the video. Um, let's see. Lisa's cards are pleasing. <laughs> pleasing. 
You're supposed to say they're awesome. <laughs> oh, hey, Dolores. Wow, you have a friend that has all her car Christmas cards done for next Christmas. That's crazy. Straighten the cards. Sure. Okay, there you go, Starla. Yeah, I would definitely crate them. That's crazy. I used to think a crate was bad for dogs, but I don't think so anymore. All right, you ready for the joke? Here we go. All right, yesterday I had a flat tire on the interstate. Oh, this is a blonde joke. I forgot to tell you. This is a blonde joke, so just picture this as a blonde. Yesterday I had a flat tire on the interstate, so I eased my car over to the shoulder of the road carefully, got out of the car, and opened the trunk. I took out two cardboard men, unfolded them, and stood them at the rear of my car facing oncoming traffic. They looked so lifelike you wouldn't believe it. They were in trench coats, exposing their nude bodies and private parts to the approaching drivers. As I expected, cars started slowing down, looking at my lifelike men. And of course, traffic starts backing up. Everybody's tooting horns and waving like crazy. It wasn't long before a state trooper pulls up behind me. He gets out of his car and starts walking towards me. I could tell he was not a happy camper. What's going on here? He asked. My car has a flat tire, I said calmly. Well, what the... H-E double toothpicks are these those obscene cardboard men doing here by the road. I couldn't believe that he didn't know, so I told him, hello, those are my emergency flashers. <laughs> that one made me laugh out loud. I thought that was funny. <laughs> so that's my joke for tonight. Not as funny as the girl with the uh, gas, but I still thought it was funny. Uh... You guys like that one? All right, you guys. So we have a short video tonight because I didn't even have to do half the work. So that's good. And Thursday is Throwback Thursday. So I got to go back and find an old video and change it to something new. Oh, somebody sent me an email about doing the dryer sheet technique. So I was going to actually do that tonight, but I didn't have any dryer sheets that were used because you have to have a used dryer sheet and I just throw them away as soon as my laundry's done. So I didn't have any that were used. So I will do that. Vicki says, I told your fart joke to my neighbors the other night and they laughed so hard. You would not believe how many comments I read about people in that joke that I told last time that were like crying and laughing so hard. <laughs> that was a funny joke. All right, guys, I hope you liked this video, and don't forget to like, subscribe, give a thumbs up, share it on Pinterest, or share it with your friends, and um, I'll be back on Thursday, so don't miss it. It'll be something, something old, and now it's new, so throwback Thursday. I'll see you soon, you guys. Take care, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.